just arrived uh, Keat Peak Mountain, where the National Observatory is located right at the top. You can see the one telescope, just south of Tucson, Arizona. The top of the peak is 2,096 meters, or 6,875 feet. I can honestly say that's one of the worst rides, hellish rides I've ever taken, up the side of a cliff. I mean, it's death-defying, to say the least. It's nice. Lots of money rolls in here. There's another one, another telescope. So much more peaceful here than Hawaii. At the top of the Observatory Visitor Center is where the tour starts. So I'm just going to wait here. You can also see the night viewing telescope they have available. And this is it here. They use it at night and they do the tour, I think, nightly. The tour guides are waiting to give a tour and they're going to explain the uh, size differences between the different mirrors and how the light collects bigger on the mirrors. The model of the four meter unit. And this is a smaller unit. And this is a McMath Pierce Solar Telescope. telescope. And this is the four meter uh, concrete mold for the big telescope. We're walking up to the uh, top of the uh, telescope. You can see other telescopes right beside it. The tour guide's pretty good. She stops and gives us different uh, different information on all the different uh, telescopes. These smaller ones, I'm not sure what the names of them are, but uh, they're newer. And there's the big one right, right in the foreground, right behind that gentleman. There it is again, the Nicholas Maillard four meter telescope. Huge telescope. You can see the observation windows just uh, below the base of the of the telescope. We're going to go out there in a little while. There's another telescope right beside it. Here we are coming up to another one operated by the University of Arizona. And this is the mold for the um, Stewart Observatory. And here we have the mountains in the distance. Here the tour guide showing the death-defying road up to the peak of the mountain. Also the other uh, the other uh, telescopes at the base of the mountain. There's quite a few of them, I think about 12 in total. I'm not sure there's more to be built every year. Again, you can see the windows uh, looking out. And she's just explaining the uh, construction of it that started in the early 60s and was completed just before 1970. Pretty interesting. And there's the uh, McMath Pierce one again. There's a four meter telescope that we're gonna be climbing up in a minute. Just following the rest of the crew inside. There's some crows up above. Um, looks like we're going to take an elevator first and then go up to stairs. Wow, that's huge. We're going in the elevator and we're just going to go up the stairs in a minute. And here's the telescope itself, the Maillard telescope. And uh, the inside telescope, it's uh, huge. Actually, they got to keep the telescope um, at the temperature it is at night so it doesn't fog up when they open the, the dome. Here's the tour guide showing the uh, model of how it operates. Pretty interesting. Just doing some work on it right now for the, tonight's viewing. And you can see there's uh, the stairs. Look how huge it is climbing up there. There's a guy that actually is working inside in it, but it's pretty cold. We're looking at the observation windows now, and you can see the, the road coming up the mountain, also the other telescopes. And um, there's our crew. And uh, as I said, there's dozens of them, or a dozen at least on the side of the mountain, on the lower half of the mountain. This really is an ideal place to, to view celestial events at the top of this mountain in the clear Arizona uh, desert. Here's the mountains to the uh, south, I believe. And here's all the different um, phenomena that this telescope's helped find. M51, the, the galaxy, famous galaxy close to us. And uh, the tour guide's just explaining what telescopes do and. And here's the Dumbbell um, Nebula, another Nebula in 42, and this is the uh, Pelican Nebula as well. There's another galaxy cluster and uh, some type of nebula. I think it's a galaxy, actually. Here's a little bit about the, the, the building of the, um, of the telescope. It was completed, I guess, in 1970. This is Mr. Uh, May, May Bell, and there's the telescope itself when it was brand new. Here's the Mayall uh, telescope again from a distance. I'm just going down the down the mountain. And uh, here I'm at the bottom of the mountain looking up. Beautiful view, dangerous road. And here we are looking at the telescope again. 